Okay, so we're going to look at subgroups. So this is the first assumption. H of a group G and G binary operation is a subgroup. This is an important definition we'll see in the future uh, of G and the notation for this. So H similar to the subset, uh, a, um, sort of pointy bracket. If and only if the following are satisfied. Are satisfied. I'm going to give three conditions. These are S1, so subgroup 1. The identity element in G is in okay. X Y in H implies that X star Y. Note that this is the same binary operation as the group G. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Uh, X inverse. So these axioms essentially say a set H is a subgroup of G if it's if it's a subset of G. So if H isn't entirely claimed, because I consider this the form in the definition, it states a subset. So if you're given that H is a subset, if you're just told that you just have to prove these three axioms. Okay, but if not, if you're just given a set H and they say uh, determine whether H is a, is a subgroup of G. You have to first show it's a subset, okay? But yeah, that, uh, yeah, might come up, might not. And then we have to, then so it's essentially a set H is a, group, is a subgroup of G if H is entirely contained in G and H itself is a group with the same binary operation as G, okay? So it's not like uh, H can be a subset. Can form a group with a with a different um, binary operations. So it's not like G is a group under multiplication. H is a subset of G, and H is a group with addition. Then it's that is not a, um, a subgroup, all right? It has to have the same binary operation, and the proof is pretty simple. You just want to prove that is in proving a a group is a subgroup is a subset is a subgroup, it's pretty simple. You just follow these three axioms. We'll do some examples of this in the upcoming videos, but for now, that is it. If you do have any questions about this video, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to do that for you. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like.